Hello, everyone, and welcome to an early edition of the weekly NFL picks presented by the World of Football. I'm your host, Adam Snow. Joining me, as always, we have my father, the founder of the World of Football, Randy Snow, over there in the blue lion shirt. And then in the middle, we have Aaron. Well, who knows? Usually when we record, all the positions get swapped around. But we have Aaron in the basic green shirt uh, this week. Aaron, how's it going? You got a new puppy here. Everything's going uh, going pretty chaotic over there. It's going how you expect a puppy to go. So just yeah. got to keep him outside every 15, 20 minutes, and then hopefully he doesn't in the house. Aw, oh, thanks for making me use the bleep button. And uh, okay. this is all, I mean, that's one reason why we're going to be in and out of today's shows, guys. But we're also going to be in and out of today's show and you might notice why the runtime is a lot shorter than typical is because Dan and I are going to Canada this week. We're going to the Grey Cup. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's the CFL Championship game this Sunday. Aaron will be at the Lions game on Sunday. We'll be at the CFL's Grey Cup that Sunday in Vancouver, Canada. So we're getting this out of the way. So for those of you, there are no pick standings this week. We will put those in the community tab with the video going up. So the picks, the standings won't be in the video. When the video goes up a day early, I think it'll get up. All the stuff should be in the community tab. So if you're curious where your standings are this week, that's where you're going to want to go check that out, as well as uh, getting a jump on, making your picks this week if you want. So without further ado, guys, now that we got all that out of the way, uh, we're going to give Dad the floor to start with his disclaimer, and then we will just jump right into our picks. All right. This is our weekly tradition. If you plan to use our predictions as a means to justify your own gambling bets, then you, my friend, are an idiot. We don't know what we're talking about, and you should never listen to us for any sort of gambling advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. That's right. So, starting off this week, I think I'll go first, then we'll go to Dad, and then Aaron, we will probably end with you. I can't remember the last time you went last, so we'll give you a chance this week, I think. I can't remember the order. I don't write this stuff down anymore. So, anyway, I will start off with, uh, let's see, it's week 11. There'll be 14 games all together. There's four teams on by Cardinals, Panthers, Giants, and Bucks all on a bye this week. So everything starts off with an NFC East matchup Thursday night, which sees the Commanders going to Philly to take on the Eagles. The Commanders have not won a game against a team that is above 500. Give me the Eagles to win this game. Uh, Green Bay travels to Chicago to play the Bears. Give me the Packers to take care of the Bears. Jacksonville travels to Detroit to uh, play the Lions. Give me the Lions. And Jared Goff to get that team humming uh, after a slow start against the Texans this past week. Uh, Give me the Dolphins to get a bounce back win against the Raiders because I feel like uh, we're recording this before the Monday night game. So I feel like the Dolphins are going to lose to the Rams. So give me the Dolphins against the Raiders. Uh, Give me the Rams to then beat the Patriots. Give me the uh, Cleveland Browns to beat the New Orleans Saints. I'll take the Pittsburgh Steelers to upset the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Give me the uh, Tennessee Titans to upset the Minnesota Vikings. That's right. I'm going to go there again. Uh, Give me the New York Jets to somehow get a win against the Indianapolis Colts. Give me the Denver Broncos to get a win against the Falcons. I will take the 49ers to get a win against the Seahawks. I will take the Buffalo Bills to defeat the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, I know I shouldn't be betting against Patrick Mahomes, but it's only the regular season. He's allowed to lose in the regular season. If this was a playoff game, it'd be a different story. But give me the Bills to win this one. Then I'm going to take the Bengals to defeat the Chargers on Sunday night football. That was a game that got flexed. And then on uh, Monday night football, give me the Houston Texans to bounce back after their devastating loss against the Lions to beat the decimated Dallas Cowboys. All right. Well, I, I agree with you on some of these, but definitely not all of them. So starting That's how it with goes Thursday week in, week night... out. Yeah. <laughs> so starting with the Thursday night game, I'm going to take the Eagles to win that game. On Sunday, give me the Packers over the Bears, the Lions over the Jaguars, the Raiders I'm taking over the Dolphins, the Rams over the Patriots. I'm going with the Saints over the Browns. I'll take the Ravens over the Steelers, the Vikings over the Titans, the Colts over the Jets, uh, the Falcons over the Broncos. I'm going to take the 49ers um, over the over the Seahawks. Uh, give me the Bills. Or no, I'm giving taking the Chiefs over Kansas City. Yep, I can't 
I can't uh, pick against the Chiefs right now. I'm going to take the Chargers over the Bengals. And finally, the Texans to beat up on the Cowboys. Those are my picks for Week 11. Nice. Well, based on what you guys did, I just made these picks like 15 minutes ago, but I'm already going to change a couple of them. <laughs> Give me the Eagles to beat the Commanders. I'm taking the Packers, Lions, Dolphins, and Rams. I'm going to take the Saints over the Browns, Steelers. I wanted to take the Titans, but I'm going to stick with Minnesota. I'm surprised you took the Jets, but I'm taking the Colts in that one. Stick a fork in the Jets. I'm done with them. Give me the Broncos over the Falcons. I originally had Seattle and Buffalo, but I'm going to switch it and go with 49ers and the Chiefs. I, But the Chiefs own the Bills. And then to round it out, we'll do the Chargers and the Texans to win in those primetime games. Yeah, I mean, from the games this week, I mean, I almost wanted to take the Saints, but I I don't know. I don't know how they beat Atlanta. We'll see if that's fool's gold with the interim head coach. But And with the Jets, I mean, they got embarrassed by the, the Cardinals. I feel like they got to bounce back. And the Colts, the Colts just look bad right now. They got no answers for anything. So there's just going to be two bad teams. One of them's got to win. So I just figured Aaron Rodgers and the Jets would have a little more motivation to beat, beat them in that one. I thought that last week, but fool me once. So I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Aaron, you you ran through those so fast, I didn't catch them all. Uh, who did you oh have? Oh, my God. The, One job, Randy. You, <laughs> he, I, I can't write that fast. Uh, who'd you have between the Saints and the Browns? Saints. Okay. Then you took the Steelers and uh, Vikings, Titans. Who'd you have? Vikings. <laughs> And uh, so much for making this a quick show, huh? <laughs> uh, 49ers, Seahawks, I think 49ers, 49ers, Chiefs, okay. Chargers, Texans. Would you also like to list any allergies while you're at it, Aaron? I mean, dad's writing it all down. Okay, okay now let's see how many we agreed on. <laughs> all right, well, while the count over on Sesame Entertain Street does that, uh. Aaron, what is the game of the week? What should be the game that we put on the thumbnail this week? Steelers Ravens. I think that's the one. Top, uh, it was, top of the end of top of the AFC North on the line. So. Yeah, I was wondering. It's it's either that or Bills Chiefs. Those are probably your two games of the week. Dad, do you have a say? Or are you too busy counting over there? I'm too busy counting. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, I. I, I think that Chiefs Bills game is probably you know the game of the week. Um, yeah, everybody's looking to see you know are the are the Chiefs for real? Are they going to keep winning, or is this the week that they they stum- finally stumble? All right, don't leave us in suspense. What's the count? I'm counting only six. Uh, we all picked the Eagles. We all picked the Packers. We all picked the Lions and the Rams. Then we all picked the 49ers and the Texans. I think those are the only six we agreed on. Okay. Well, if uh, you're wrong, the graphic will say otherwise. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Uh, I guess that's it for our abridged show. Uh, yeah, Dan and I are going to be on a plane to Canada on Wednesday. So uh, we're just trying to get everything done a little early this week. So uh, everything should be back to normal for the most part next week when we get back from our trip. So be on the lookout. We're going to have a lot of Canadian coverage i don't know if aaron's going to do anything going to the lions game but uh who knows anything's possible (laughs) all right i guess we're getting out of here uh good luck with your picks this week guys and we will see you next week learn to count go lions